Well, the book is a result of a conference we held in 2021, an online conference that it was a concluding conference for a research project that we have had at Aarhus University for the last five years. The theme of the conference uh, came out of this Danish uh, project where we're investigating the relationship between Lutheranism and uh, societal development in Denmark. And to make that argument strong that Lutheranism actually had an impact on society, we also need to investigate society on, on all different levels, including everyday life. And exactly the, the perspective of everyday life opened uh, up to, to new results, new conclusions on the Danish material. And therefore we uh, thought it would be good to conclude this project by having an international conference, inviting other scholars from different fields, different uh, areas to, to share uh, the, the perspective uh, with us, what happens if you look on the impact of the Reformation from an everyday life uh, perspective. The chapters in the book builds on paper held at the and discussed at the conference, but what I find really fascinating in the way they go together in the book is that they have different approaches, different methods to how we can go down to everyday life and imagine and study how it affected people's life on a daily basis that confession changed and that the Reformation happened. There are two, uh, two different chapters dealing with it in different ways. Uh, Kirsistiana is uh, uh, focusing on the role of women uh, in Reformation theology. It's a, 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 a quite important a piece of, of uh, of Reformation uh, history or, and on, on the impact also on, on the role of, uh, of women. And then Sine Mikola uh, from Finland is, is uh, uh, focusing on uh, up moving the picture of, of uh, Reformation as a stop for, for women in contemplative life. I think there was much more uh, negotiation and the possibilities were not close. Also here broadening out the perspective on, on, on the role of, of women in, uh, in, uh, in everyday life on, uh, on different levels of society. I believe there's fascinating and eye-opening pieces in this book. One of them is uh, Lee palmer uh, article on the Reformation of Time, where she follow in the footsteps of all the churches that changed their uses of bells and, and with that use changed the soundscape of the city and the way people experienced time and counted time. And that is a very fascinating combination of how buildings and material culture changed and how people's conception of time changed with that. See, there's not a final conclusion in this book. Uh, it's more beginning. Uh, we've gone out from a Danish case and uh, with the experience that we could reach some new uh, results by, f by taking the, uh, opening the window to everyday life and had invited uh, other scholars into this discussion and found some really exciting results. And I'm, we are, are so sure that, that going this way would deliver much more, there are much more material, so this is openly a first window open to the, the world of, uh, of uh, Reformation in everyday life and I'm sure that there will come more uh, uh, scholarship and, uh, and articles and books in, uh, in this direction. <laughs>